<sighs> Let's get started. Whew. Yep. I use a certain playbook. Shout out to him. Let's go. This is coming from within. I stuff for real. I don't pretend. When the OG spilling knowledge, bet his best is soaking it. I'm a prophet to them scholars. Got them chakras opening. Got them fixing up. They act as now they truly fall. Welcome to the stream. This is my road to playing TD Barrett. Probably gonna catch a lot of sweaties out here, but we're not afraid, so I'm not worried. My word is James Bond, I stay on the mission Coming for the top position, ain't no competition, man Pull up in the top, it's missing, fuck the opposition, man All that lane switching, this is what the game is Hyped about Madden 21, though That game, I'm hyped Finally, EA sports coverage of the NFL is in Houston Ooh, In the Space City at NRG Stadium They do it big here in Houston And a second ago it was a Texas-sized welcome For their hometown guys They're fired up and ready to go As they get set to match up With the Seattle Seahawks And we are underway From NRG Stadium in Houston kick This fielded at the two Let's see. Let's see. Usually you can tell how good a player is based off of. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna test. I'm just test it. Oh, I had him. I had him, guys. Guys, I already know. I already know. I already know. I had him. I'm, I'm blind. Okay. I'm blind. I know. I had him. I'm garbage. I'm going to the ball. Now, I know we're only two plays in, but after giving up back to back sacks, something this has to change with the protection, okay, and they can't wait to halftime to make an adjustment. After the sack, they'll come up now, third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Here's Wilson to throw. And they're going to sack him I really again. The pass okay. rush has been relentless. This time, it yields a safety. Well, yep. we, we thought these Keeping two defenses, they out. might come to play. Okay. One has already come to play here. A safety for the opening points of the game. Right. Brandon, let's no, file no, this no, play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who lie. knows? This could wind up being the, the difference. The way the camera looks, actually it's messing with my eyes. Not going to lie, but it's high. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and ten. Right, right at on, the Bobby. 30. <laughs> From the gun, here's Watson. Yeah. In a heavy traffic and it's Ooh. intercepted. It's the Ooh. linebacker, Michael Kendricks. And a super oh, return God. as he gets us all the way down oh, inside the 25-yard oh. line. Yeah. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative oh, thoughts in his head going forward here. since that's his first throw of the Ladies game. But one of the things I remember about oh, him coming God. out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. And all it'll be intercepted. Why is that? Okay, I really threw it. Well, they didn't exactly like. show patience there, did they? <laughs> Just down the score, they everywhere. come out firing right away and compound this by throwing an interception, the they put their defense in a really Ooh, tough spot. Me They'll roll them out right. Mm. And that is incomplete. Garbage Took game. a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Not the best. Well, that but I, like the TD Bear is also not that good All week in practice guys. getting ready for this one. Bear with Take me. the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit. Loosen them up. Have them back on their heels. Check four, check four. On second and ten, Watson buying time to his left, and now he's going to use his legs, yep. and he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. He'll wind up getting guys. four there on yeah, his own, but it will leave lot, him now with a third down retarded. situation. So, I only go against cover three when I'm really playing somebody that I feel like. Throwing on third down, Watson. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. 
And they finally do get mm, it back before it reaches the 27. Watson to Hopkins for a huge hookup, 49 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. I'm playing to the outside, you see. To throw so is Watson. Believing the pressure right. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Okay, light, light, like Showed off the arm strength there, but to no it's avail. Like, Second down. So weird. Second and 10 now from the 27. <laughs> Throwing again is Watson. Hits from behind, and he's going to oh, be nope. driven down. Enough to stop him to drop quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Yeah, now now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly cool. the momentum shifted yeah, to the other the side of the football. Idiot, and old so. Mo is a very, very fickle man. Following the sack, it's now third and long for Watson and the Texans. Let's try that. People tend to try to do out route over there. Third and long, it's Watson. Into a no. double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker Bobby Wagner. And the okay, return so. just out across the 15 to the 16 yard line. Mm. First mm. quarter, mm. and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got a guard against being yeah, intimidated from this yeah, point I'm really forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make I, the proper I, I, I throws. Really do think I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand. Put it behind you, keep pressing forward. Steps away to his left. That's a touchdown. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett. Let's just get the, the jitters out. Yards. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit trouble coming out on the field. Maybe catch them back on their heels. And that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield. Look, you see that line really created a big play. Right. Only you said jumbled. Left. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play Look, and lag. into the end zone. This is Look fielded a couple lag. yards deep. Lag. And the decision to bring it out a good one as he's Third up a yard or two shy of the down. 30. Bobby Wagner, don't run. Houston's see, offense already at the line set to, to get going. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two I'm drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you yeah, actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit. Like, hey, didn't you like practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? And maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Watson now to throw, setting up the screen for Miller. He'll be taken go, down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. On the ground, this is Lamar Miller. And he is going to be stopped cold behind yeah, I'm in the line a couple of scrimmage. Of guys. So, yeah, you might see that. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Where is it? I'm running for a certain, I'm looking for a certain play, guys. Okay, there we go. So if he runs like an out route, that should be a pick. Watson now to throw on third down. Dancing to his oh, oh, He's caught on the oh, sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he Hunt was ball, out buddy. of bounds. So a big call like there this. that brings up fourth. Okay. Uh, no. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick smart, this one away. So. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler, Tyler Lockett. Lockett. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Seahawks will take over at their own 20. Score. It's only if I score, guys. So. I'm not the best. I don't think I'm the best at all. But, um. Coming enough. to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've shown very little offensively to this point. Well, neither team has really. So they come up here now, first down. 
Throwing is Wilson. Being chased out left. That's complete to DK Metcalf. There we go. There and Metcalf. he'll be corralled right around yeah. the 34. Yeah. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. Usually. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. And this play was flushed to his left, still on the run, mm -hmm. able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. This looks like I'm going to be able to catch him sleeping. Play action. It's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. Yeah. And he just gets rid of it. Throws okay. it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very like gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. And that does you no good. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. To throw again. Wow. Wilson. Why wow. had him? You guys saw it. Here as he's taken down, J.J. Watt picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Oh, you see that Forced line. I don't know see that. Yeah. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball player. players and football players, but let's videos. adopt it in this case. Uh, He's a stat sheet stuffer. No, Had the interception not. earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. Mm -hmm. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, mm -hmm. give him 15. And the Texans with great field position to start this guys. drive as they take up. over first and 10. I did that. This guy's terrible. On first down, Watson. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Jalen Reed able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Now it's Watson. <laughs> this throw is going to be incomplete. Bradley McDougal that time oh, able to knock right it too. away. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well to um, you guys saw it. Oh, he caught it? I got it. Lamar Miller, 51 yards. And the Texans have retaken the lead. Well, that was the fly route for a touchdown, and since he caught that one and scored it, I got to tell the story before the game we were standing there. He was running deep routes, dropped one, it bounced up and just hit me right in the gut. And I said, come on, man, but there, there was no drop. Yeah, you okay now? I'm good. All right, I'm good. good. We got the ice pack up here. You're, you're just fine. What I loved about it was the subtlety of the route because everyone knows he's fast. They're going to play him for that route first yes, and foremost. Yes, but sometimes it's a head it. fake. It's varying your speed off the line of scrimmage. It's giving the defensive back different angles to think about. Is he going inside? Is he going outside? And then, as you noted, he just took off past him. Oops. There he goes again. Now it's Wilson. Flush to his right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. He has a spy there. He throws it away. This defense has been very disruptive early on as he forced another one to go around. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football. And he's taken down. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Buying time to his left. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I'll give them credit. They took their shot, the but it's going to bring up fourth down. Not gonna lie to you. It's always a goal. Sure it's really cheap, nice so. defensively when you can rally sure to the football to and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Like force an incompletion and force another punt. Now look at this. Fourth and 12. And they're going to line up to go for it. It looked like he had some separation. Some form of separation. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. That one going to be complete to David Moore. That's close, that's close. And he'll be out right at the 35. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. 
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Whitney Merciless able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Moving the pressure right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he's got his target. That's more. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That'll pick up the first down for Seattle on a gain of 18. On first and 10, it's Wilson. He'll find Metcalf. It's a gain of 15. First down, Seahawks. Wilson now 5 out of 10, 50% throwing it. Not so hot, but he does have a first down. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Thought he was nice. Now look. I'm going to have to make him look like a fool. Again, Wilson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Man, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. To throw on second and ten. Wilson escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Oh, oh my friends. You guys are, are probably playing after this a little bit. But, yeah. I like it when I see the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary oh, now on third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. Dancing to his left. He may try and run for this. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Why not? Okay. what I'm saying? They converted once earlier in this drive, but they'll roll the dice here again on fourth down. I've tried this quite a bit. It usually works. They run for it with Carson. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Seahawks have once again taken the lead. Let me see if I can make this one. This time, the extra point up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Usually, what I, what I do with the guys like this is I go there. My defense is shut down. And this guy scored once. He's not going to score again. I promise y'all that. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one, go to the locker room, start over. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number it. three. Yeah, just kick it off right here. Right? This is taken at the three. Off. Good plays. I know I'm not using it. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Yeah, go ahead and see. It's not that easy, guys. 
Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within strike? Okay. Under pressure okay. now, Watson, mm -hmm. and down he goes. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Yeah, Giving up a big it. sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Yeah. Now Watson. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. The guy, the white, and Barton is supposed to have that shotgun snap for Watson. He thinks it's open. And that will be incomplete. Get out. He should be part of the ball club. Empty on this first drive in the second half. Still down by that slim margin. Yeah, that's okay. You know, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work. While well, they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. They were able to get the ball back here. Didn't surrender any points. Now they looked at that lead. How about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Harlan Hargraves with a pick. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33 yard line. This is so ugly right now. It's not even funny. I could have they have the option and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results like of the play that they just ran, and they like game. to let them stand. Watson will bring up the Texans here, Probably first and ten, at the 33-yard line. Watson with a give to Miller, and he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. From the 39, Watson. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. It's a matter of maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Other than that, but honestly. It's his clock that's stripping. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. I'm not going to lie. I truly do think that if he's throwing it out right here. Out of the gun, Watson. They should all be picked. Incomplete. He had his hands on it but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. He doesn't. There was no secret who they were trying to get the football to. Well, no, they went to him on first down, second down, and third down, all three incomplete. Yeah, and when you're unable to connect and you force it in that direction, all you're doing is giving confidence to the defense. They feel like they're really hurting you in a big way. Now it's Lockett. 12 yards on the return that time. And that will come the offense as they take over. Looks bad. But y'all gotta stick with me. Come on. I promise y'all. Now I'm going to see some quality game play. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And yeah, last time, was it pretty? One play and an interception to we'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the going back some confidence. See what happens. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. To throw again on second down. Wilson. It's caught inside the 25. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. On first down, Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Whitney Merciless giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. 
And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Well, interceptions have been a problem in this one. If he could have got his feet down here, it would have been another. Would have been a huge one. They've had a great game taking the ball away. Thought they had another one. Just unable to get those cleats in bounds. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive bats, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Doesn't lie. And his kick is absolutely perfect, and that'll make this a seven-point game. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players, you find an athlete all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play in this passing game. So it's not really found any kind of rhythm. I'm going to because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard. And It'll be second down, making the stop that time, like Bobby Wagner. Guess I, I get trying to catch me off guard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. For you all game, so I don't know why you would not. Uh, game and audible. Game and audible. Game and audible. Game and audible. And he knocks the ball clean. away, and it falls clean. incomplete. Clean. The pro bowler, clean. DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And now it's Nothing third down. Open. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, it really put this receiving this core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked to together like a basketball team is playing excellent receivers. defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's I'm man or zone. Sweaty. And especially against deep balls, balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. See, the point is, is that a doubt is a streak. To throw on third down, Watson. Yeah. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Jaron Reed picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Returnable for Lockett. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Coming to the line here to begin their next okay, drive, the Seahawks play. offense. Yeah. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Forced out to his left. Oh, he just needed to throw it away, but instead, out of bounds he goes, and that's a sack. That's going to go as a loss of a full eight yards. And it sets him back for second down. He truly is. Um. Play action. Now Wilson. He lets it fly for Lockett. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, that really could have turned this one upside down. The Seahawks on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be a tough third and 18. Flush to his right. It's complete to lock it. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38. Well shy of the first down. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Probably going to end up going with... I'm going to start to scream me something right now. This offense two for two converting on these thus far, so why not try again here on fourth down? They'll go for it. Now it's Wilson. Buying time to his left. 
He lets it fly. Oh. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Myers connects on the PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit, he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. Here's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. They get 17 on that one. Move the chains. First down, Seahawks. Be honest. Well, throw on the first down with Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era. We think about some workmanship and all that. All the people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. Dancing to his left. taken down here. Great coverage downfield. J.J. Watt able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Left guard defense. Here we go. Check, 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 check. Wall, wall, flex. Now Wilson. And oh, look at that. A diving catch. And now this defense trying to use the clock to their advantage. They'll take the timeout here with 2.08 left. And then they'll have another stop coming up at the two-minute warning. Wilson now to throw on third down. Being chased out left. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. The intended receiver was D.K. Metcalf. And now it's second down. Oh, Wilson going to throw. Forced out to his left. It's caught. Lock it. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And that's why you do all the drills that you do from the quarterback position. Because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback naturally will want to move to the right side to throw the football. But sometimes you've got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Forced to his left, still able to accurately throw it downfield for a completion. On third down, Wilson. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout. As they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This to make it a three-score game late. And this one is right down the middle. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line.
This is over. This game is so been over. 17 point game. I usually just take three. This guy's terrible. The Texans offense ready, ready to go here stuff. for their next drive. Yeah, They're down big here late. Know. I don't know. You yeah. just one last and drive here for pride. Just... Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy <laughs> once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? Sure he just sure. waved a hand like, who cares? <laughs> they got here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something That's at really the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Watson now to throw. Open man is QT complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. It will be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer who's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down. Got a man open. It's Fuller for the Texans touchdown. Will Fuller. 41 yards and the Texans cut into that lead Fairbairn good with the extra point and the lead is trimmed down to 10 so two scores down time definitely not an ally but here comes the onside kick and this is going to be taken in by the Seahawks. And it would appear they're on their way to victory now. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Buying time to his left. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. He was out there waving his arms. I mean, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. He goes full extension, and he's got it. It's a gain of 15. First down, Seahawks. Wilson wants to throw it. That he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf there to make the grab. Yeah, the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Yeah, give him a chance. The Texans' hands team recovers. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Brad McDougal. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Tomorrow, yeah, the next. A road win in the national. And no matter where you're. Do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road.